Welcome to the Oak Magpie. My mood board for this doll came from one of my besties. Her idea was a cottage core frog witch. I loved the concept and I thought she'd be a good doll to showcase in autumn. I originally chose Venus McFlytrap for her skin color, but I soon realized that she has a lovely face sculpt. I pulled out some fabrics that went with my theme. I decided on some colors and prints and then used DG Requiem's German fairy tale pattern, altering the length and adding some bits. Cutting out the dress, shirt, socks, and apron pieces. Trying out where I want the pockets and lace for the cottage core vibe. I switched out one of the light green rectangles for a Pac-Man lily pad shape in the end. And here's why I'm not going to show you the actual sewing of this dress. Ta-da! From mess to cute dress. I bought the straw hat from a craft store. I cut out a cardboard cone and hot glued it to the straw hat. Using a technique I saw of crafts and curios do for mini straw hats and tiny baskets, I wrapped this rough twine around the brim. Hot gluing each area around and around until I got to the point of the hat. These monster high heels I pulled from my stock box and gave them some acrylic paint. Off camera, I painted frog bumps on the raised areas. I wanted a frog peeking out from underneath her hat, so I gave this ultra lightweight Sculpey a try. Quickly realizing I'm not a sculptor when I ended up with a black rain frog. So I scrapped that idea and I bought some little rubber frogs. I wanted to give them a little more detail, so I slapped on some acrylic paint in a spotty pattern. Cream first and then a dark chocolatey brown. Much better. Now for the doll. I cut her hair as short as possible and then I clippered it to almost bald. Venus has a velvety pink undercut that comes off easily with acetone. Using my heat gun, I heat up her head so it's squishy and easier to remove from the neck plug. Now I'm just going to scrape out all the hair plugs. Using my hemostats, I'm going to pull out the hair and the glue. To remove her factory paint and undercut, I'm going to use 100% acetone and a cotton ball. Then she's going to get a nice warm soapy bath to remove any of the excess chemicals. A quick body sanding and dremeling to remove the printing, and it's time for three coats of Mr. Super Clear. Make sure you're always ready for the apocalypse when spraying MSC. Let's give this girl a face. This is my color palette for this gal. Using a watercolor pencil that's just a bit darker than her skin, I sketch her eyes. Once I'm happy with the shape, I can fill in the scalera. I also add our eyeshadow and brows with pan pastels in a nice rust color. Her hairline and her ears get a shadowing with dark green. Her lips get a little bit of the rust pastel. I wanted her to have eyes reminiscent to frogs, using my References People References. You can thank KP Creations because now I cannot just simply use the word References. To capture that frog look, I outline her irises in an ochre color. A dark yellow on the top of the iris and a yellow at the bottom. The rust color goes on her cheeks and her lips. The next layer of MSC. Frog pupils are kind of like a sideways tic-tac. There was actually a lot of variation, so I just chose what I liked. This layer is darkening and reinforcing all of the colors and lines from the previous layer. Then it's MSC time! Adding in some dark lines in the iris, brightening up the scalera, and then adding some bottom lashes. Metallic watercolors added a glimmer to her irises. Let's frog this girl up. Instead of traditional freckles, I painted splotches on like I did with the toy frogs. Dotting on some catch lights. I blushed her body with green and rust pan pastels and gave her hands and chest the frog splats. 
Her hair is pretty simple because I just separated the yarn twists and gave her a cute, untidy wave. Starting with the hairline, I simply hot glued the strands onto her head. I worked in a circle, hot gluing and placing until she had her whole head covered. I didn't intend to be an advertisement for Doll Planet, but there you go. With tacky glue, I gave her 3D lashes in dark brown. I had this little vial I wanted to put faux frog eggs in. I picked out the more clear caviar beads from this bottle and stuck them onto masking tape. I busted out the black Posca pen and gave each egg their signature black dot. I tried putting the eggs in with tweezers and found that manhandling just worked better. Next I wanted to make some tadpoles. I dipped black jewelry wire into UV resin and cured it. Then using my black Posca pens, I painted the resin black. They're so tiny. Layering resin, tadpole, resin, tadpole makes it seem like they are in water. It came out so cute. Let's re-head her and get her put together. I named her Rani Day. Ranidae or Ranidae is a scientific name for a true frog. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and hit the bell button so you won't miss any of my uploads. Thanks for hanging out with me as I created Rainy Day. See you next time.